Are you so excited, Mama? You so excited? You look excited. <laughs> All right, so great morning with mom and dad and Kara, and we got mom to her doctor's appointment and back home, had some Mickey D's, and now we're heading home ourselves to get ready to go to work because it is still just that early that we still have time before we have to go to work because it's super early and Kara's super excited. Kara's super angry that she's awake this early. No, she's not. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm allergic to animals. My nose is very stuffed. And I have a cold. I'm not sure what's happening with my face. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a couple of uh, things, one of which being, would you guys please be quiet? So a couple things uh, about the wire trees that I've done in the past. So, okay, here's a little one. Here's a finished product one, if you can uh, see that little guy there. Um, just a little tiny tree. He's a little personal favorite, but yeah, I just made that one in a little wire. He was all done. Um, then we have one that's partially done. It's kind of a bigger one. There we go. Wow. It's uh, all black, obviously. And then what I do basically is I weave, or weave, yeah, I guess that would be the word, um, spools of wire that basically I just keep going around and around and around and around and around. And then I twist them all into these tiny little things up here at the top. And then I go back through and I open them all. So then they look all like super spoingy looking things and I just keep going at that until I'm like completely satisfied with the way it turns out. Okay, so I had to close the door this time because the dogs are being loud. So I use um, like pliers like these, my little long nosed ones and I got my little wire cutters right there. This used to be my favorite set of pliers until Ruby ate them, but <laughs> I guess they still do the job. And then I have like spools of wire that I use that I just get from like Pacatans or Michaels and all they are is plant wire. That's it. And then I make trees and that was like my number one thing that I started out making. And then I started making things like, well, pretty much anything upon request. I was like, they're like, can you do it? And I'm like, I can try. Um, most of the time it turned out pretty good. Actually, I'm not going to lie. Uh, some things I just got frustrated and I was like, you know what? I tried. Um, but normally people like the stuff that I made, so I'm, I've made ambulances and cop cars and all kinds of animals. I don't even know. A lot of fire trucks. A lot of fire trucks. Um, I don't do it as much anymore because I just don't literally have the time like I used to. But, yeah, that was a hobby. And then I would spray paint them with the Rust-Oleum spray paint to whatever color they wanted. I did have some, um, like the little tree. I had uh, some that had, like, little tire swings on them. And i gone to... Um, Steph and I went to the E.J. Thomas Hall uh, art show, and that was pretty cool. And I was like, oh, this should be a lot of fun. And they were like, you need to have so much product. And I'm like, oh, okay, so much product. And I thought we had enough, but then I caught myself sitting there. It was like day two, and I'm making wire trees because I couldn't keep up. So that was like super cool. And then the next year, they're like, you want to come back? I'm like, no, thank you. That was brutal, um, but kudos to anybody who can do that as a career because wow, but um, it was a hobby for me, not a not a job. So yeah, that was, so there's that. So when Steph and I went to TJ Thomas Hall, basically I would make the wire tree, I would hand them off to her, she would decorate them and then hand them back to me and then I would put them on bases, like um, whether it just be a mirror or a mossy ground or something I would glue them on there and then decorate it and put grass or beads or whatever and they looked pretty awesome and then that's what we sold and they were pretty cool and um I was gonna try to locate some of those here for you but I can find some pictures so stand by for pictures So I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, that was a nice little start as to what I do. Maybe I can do a whole new video on how I do them exactly, like starting and midpoint and ending, and maybe I'll start a whole nother tree. So that was an idea 
from uh, Casey, and I appreciate that. I actually really enjoyed sharing that, so thank you for the suggestion, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I have to get ready for work because I'm running a little late now. Oh, jeez, there's no time, and I forgot I had to return the movies. All right, movies dropped off. Check. Now I'm on my way. So that was super gross. So I passed a trash truck, and his whole, like, front windshield thing area was, like, full of trash, and there was, like, trash caked around him. I'm like, I, I realize you're a trash truck, but couldn't you just throw it in the back or something? Maybe you have a trash can inside? I don't know. Maybe I'm not one to talk. Oh my gosh, I'm so judgmental. I'm sorry. When people put their pallets out at the curb, does that mean they're free? Just curious. There's always construction. Ugh. I could have swore I had to be at work at 11 and I don't have to be there until 11.30 and it is only 10.38! Ah! I'm going to be so early again. That is one of my favorite buildings, the old Firestone building. Mm, it's historical. Good thing the mirror doesn't adjust right. That's good. So there's another one of the cool ones, the old Goodyear building. Oop, there it goes. Yep, here we are, rolling into work super early. It's like 10.45. Go team. Hey, guess what though? It's gonna be a great day! Yeah, I gotta fix the mirror. Ooh. Here we go, there it is. Oh, that's much better, much better, I can see. Good. Yep, 11.15, 15 more minutes. Oh, about time Corey showed up. I've been sitting here like an hour. Jeez. And since I'm cheap and don't want to pay for gas, I've been sitting here without the car running, so it's a little cold in here. <laughs> I can't feel my face. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a great day. Fabulous day at work. I am now heading home. There is not enough chapstick in this world right now. My lips are so chapped, but it's okay because I have my peppermint chapstick and it's heavenly. I'm getting out on time and i got to make some phone calls, so uh, that's what I got. Did you just look at my phone? <laughs> now she has the C. Diffie. You said I had C. Diff on my phone. I do not have C. Diff on my phone. When was the last time you cleaned it? Oh, she just cracked her skull again. I don't know. It's... I hate you. So I just got... Okay, my face is like super like gross right now because I just took like all the uh, cold stuff. But I walked in the other room and of course one of the dogs had pooped on the floor. So I went to clean that up. And then I wanted to make a mental note to thank Merlin for the last time that he backed up to the wall and pooped on it. And he did not this time, so I wanted to take this second to congratulate Merlin for not pooping on the wall. Okay, so we're heading to Wendy's because a Frosty will make me feel better right now. Right now. And you too. Okay. Okay, yeah, but me mostly, because I'll feel good. So now we are heading to a second Wendy's because the first Wendy's decides to tear apart their Frosty machine an hour before they close. So now I have to try to find another one because I just want a Frosty. This chick in front of us is seriously ordering all the food. Mm-hmm. She doesn't understand that I just want a Frosty. She's got the munchies. She's got the munchies. My gosh, look at the screen. She's got like 30 items on there. Yeah, that'll be $47.98. It was $46.50. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. We're going to win a second half, dude. Yeah, could I get two large chocolate Frosties? We actually, we're all at uh, Frosties for a night they've been trying. Okay. I don't think they understand that I don't want to go to Walmart to get ice cream. Yeah, could I get two large chocolate Frosties? Um, a junior cheeseburger and a junior bacon cheeseburger. Is everything on the screen correct? And a medium fry. Would that be off? Yes. Your total was $10.95 on my second window. Thank you. They have Frosties, oh, honey. I know. This chick literally understood how much I was in need of a Frosty that she laughed. And we love her, but she's like, literally, you just took my last two. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> All right, so it was a win at the third Wendy's. I am kind of excited by that. I am... Now going to be heading to bed, and I hope you all have a great night.